Um, and of course we're doing a tribute to Teddy Wilson and his small groups. And uh, their first appearance on record uh, was on the 2nd of July 1935. And they were billed as Teddy Wilson and his orchestra. But in effect it was a small group. It was trumpet and two reeds and uh, a rhythm section. And it was put together to back Billy Holiday. And uh, uh, their first session, uh, well, we consider it a classic now. Um, you know, she uh, sang things like What the Moonlight Will Do and uh, Miss Brown to You and uh, I Wished on the Moon and uh, things like that. And these are jazz classics now, of course. And uh, John Hammond put the thing together and, uh, and Teddy Wilson wrote all the arrangements, booked the musicians, and, uh, and these were some of the stars of jazz in their day and um, he managed to get them all to play for session fees um, so uh, although they were big stars but they were happy to play with their peers um, so uh, for example I mean Benny Goodman uh, would do record four tunes for twenty dollars and this was at the height of his fame um, okay uh, what else have I got to drone on about? Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, well of course they went on um, to record for Brunswick uh, with Billy Holiday and they made about 200 sides together. And of course he recorded with other up and coming singers like uh, Ella Fitzgerald. And their first purely instrumental uh, session, um, apart from uh, a vocal by Roy Eldridge, um, uh, was in... Uh, uh, 1936, and um, anyway, um, we're going to fast forward now uh, to 1944, when uh, Teddy Wilson had a sex step at Cafe Society, and uh, this is one of the tunes uh, they're recording, and it's uh, one of those numbers uh, associated with Benny Goodman, and it's they called Rose Room.
Thank you very much, thank you very much. And uh, that was uh, recorded by uh, a band that comprised uh, Emmett Berry, who was the trumpet player who took over from the original guy in the sextet, who uh, was Bill Coleman. But Bill Coleman went on tour uh, to Europe, so we had Emmett Berry. And tonight we have all the way from the USA the wonderful John Eric Kelso. <laughs> Uh, the original clarinet player was Jimmy Hamilton, but of course he went off to work with Duke Ellington, so they replaced him with uh, Edmund Hall. And uh, doing a wonderful Edmund Hall impression tonight, all the way from Sweden, Lars Frank. <laughs> and uh, we're delighted to have with us uh, Christoph, who's uh, doing all, all the parts played by the great Benny Morton, uh, the trombonist, Christoph Herman. And uh, in the rhythm section, originally it was at Al Hall on bass, and we have your very own Harry Evans. And uh, attending to his sartorial niceties there. Um, <laughs> Playing the part, uh, well, the original uh, drummer was uh, Yank Porter in 1940, but then uh, on that recording was Big Sid Catlett. And uh, here we have the big Richard Pike. <laughs> now, uh, well, uh, well, we'll move swiftly on with this. I mean, this is um, their version of uh, George Gershwin's I Got Rhythm. And I said at rehearsal, well, this goes like the clappers. And uh, John Eric said, uh, what is that expression going like the clappers? Where does it come from? Well, I can now tell you that uh, it's to do with church bells, the clappers in the church bells. And it goes back to when um, they communicated, um, sent messages via church bells in the old days in England. In America, you know, you had um, you know, smoke signals. and. You know, <laughs> Uh, our African brothers uh, have the jungle drums, and we have the church bells. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't sound like very fast feather communication, but uh, anyway, there we go. So, um, going up the clappers, I got ready.
Colin was after that uh, soda fountain rag now. Ah, right. Um, we're going to do something now, another Benny Goodman tune, and uh, this was featured in the 1956 Hollywood movie, uh, The Benny Goodman Story, and uh, it's a thing called Don't Be That Way, and there's a scene in the film where um, uh, Benny Goodman's supposed to have uh, given, got, got the title because everybody was saying to him, don't be that way. And of course, that's a typical bit of Hollywood flim flam because uh, the tune was written way before 1933 by Edgar Sampson for Rex Stewart's band. And, um, uh, and then it was recorded by Chick Webb, first of all. Uh, so there we are, flim flam. Yeah, Richard will be doing one of those on the drums later, won't you, flim flam? <laughs> yes. Okay, um, so here's uh, Teddy's arrangement of Don't Be That Way.
bit of a notes all mixed up here, but uh, I'm probably talking too much anyway. But uh, we'll go on to play uh, a tune called Flying Home, which was composed in 1938 by Lionel Hampton. And uh, he wrote it at the time he was with Benny Goodman. So the first recordings uh, a year later by the Goodman Sextet. And of course, that's very famous for the electric guitar playing of Charlie Christian. <laughs> Um, when Hampton recorded it, or sorry, um, played it live in the 40s uh, with his own big band, um, it was notable for a honking tenor sax solo by Illinois Jacket. And uh, this would drive audiences wild. Um, but of course, we're, we're playing Teddy Wilson music, which is elegant and sophisticated, and Teddy wouldn't countenance any such wildness. Um, I can't speak for my colleagues tonight. Yes, I don't know what they've been on, but uh, anyway, um, this is a lovely, lovely arrangement by Teddy and a uh, uh, flying home.
the next number, uh, which uh, we're going to cl conclude the uh, sextet part of this uh, tribute, uh, it's an original by Teddy, and it's called, um, well, it's a, it's a genre we don't normally associate with Teddy Wilson, Boogie Woogie, but this is called A Touch of Boogie Woogie, so it's only a touch. <laughs> Thank you. 
very much. The sex tech there. The sex tech. Well, thank you. And how about that for Harry on both bass and both of those? Uh, yeah. Now, um, we're going to break the band down as if we aren't broken down enough already uh, into a trio. Um, Teddy, uh, of course, this is a tribute to small groups, and one of the small groups that Teddy worked with extensively through his career, and increasingly from the 1950s, was the piano, bass, drums trio. And uh, I'd like to play you another of his original compositions, and I think this is one of the best. He wrote it in 1941, and it became uh, kind of a theme tune for him. Um, he never thought much of his writing. He said uh, he was on the road all the time, and he didn't have much time to... Um, develop his songwriting, he didn't think he had much of a gift for it, but I think this is a rather attractive number, and it's called Sunny Morning. <laughs> Welcome to the stand, Felix Hunot know, on guitar, and uh, the other men, member of our French contingent, Jean-Francois Bernal. Here they come. <laughs> and, uh, yes, Christophe is going to take a little break for a while, and uh, we're going to play some numbers by Teddy Wilson and his orchestra, as this um, aggregation was termed. And uh, the first number we're going to play is Coquette, and uh, for this, um, uh, Teddy recruited members of um, the Benny Goodman band. Uh, apart from Benny himself on clarinet, uh, there was Harry Goodman, his brother on bass, uh, Harry James on trumpet, um, uh, who else? Vito Musso on, uh, on tenor saxophone, that's who Jean Francois is going to be tonight, and uh, uh, Gene Cooper was the drummer, and uh, and the uh, guitar player was Alan Roos 
Am I pronouncing that right, John? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yes, Alan Ruth, yeah. Uh, it's only it's spelled similar to, there's a, a pianist called Donna Suisse with a similar spelling with U's and E's and everything, so I just wondered whether it was like that, but no, uh, it's Alan Ruth. And uh, the guitar takes the intro of this uh, number, which is quite unusual. You'll probably notice that uh, Teddy tends to take all the intros um, in these recordings. But uh, here we have four bars from Felix. <laughs> Actually, um, recorded on my birthday, May the 14th, but about 21 years before I was conceived. Um, and uh, they are, um, well, I'll quickly tell you because we're running out of time, warming up. So we're going to warm up with warming up, and uh, we're going to go into uh, a classic blues in C sharp minor. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
jazz versions of Rachmaninoff's famous prelude in C sharp minor, but uh, that's about it. And sometimes they transpose that into D minor. So. Anyway, we're going to play a, a Dixieland classic now, and uh, uh, for this, uh, Teddy recruited men from the Count Basie Orchestra. So I think we had uh, Buck Clayton on trumpet and Lester Young on saxophone. Um, oh, Buster Bailey was in there, but nothing to do with uh, bassy, of course. Uh, but he had uh, bassy's rhythm section: Joe Jones on drums, uh, Freddie Green on guitar, um, Walter Page on bass. I think that's everybody. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Brandon. So uh, uh, just uh, we'll, we'll cut one number and uh, we'll invite Christoph back and we'll, go, we'll play I Never Knew. I Never Knew. Anyway, thanks very much. I uh, hope you've enjoyed our tribute to Teddy Wilson. One Yay. more time for the guys. Richard Pipe there on the front. Thank you. 